So say you're me and you're in science class and your teacher's talking about something called cellular processes. What's that? Maybe the way cell phones work? No, probably not. In fact, that's really not even close. The particular process we're discussing is the process of photosynthesis and cellular respiration in plants, which is a cyclical process. But, since your teachers decided to go all brainy Einstein equations on you, you decide to start doodling. Now you probably have a basic idea of what photosynthesis is from kindergarten, which was that plants, like this flower here, obtain energy from the sun and thus are happily living, right? Wrong. In fact, plants can't live off the sugars they create during photosynthesis at all. This looks something like what I am drawing here. But to understand what's really going on here, we need to look at what's actually happening. So say for a moment that you are, in fact, not me and you are not in science class, but you are instead a tree. Living happily in this field like forest type thing. Anyways, you're a tree, and as a living organism, you need energy to survive. Now plants, such as trees, are autotrophs. This means that they, that they make their food by themselves. Your food is a particular type of food called glucose which is made of six carbon molecules, 12 hydrogen molecules, and six oxygen molecules. To obtain these ingredients, you will need to do several different things. First, you need to get water molecules, which you can get through your roots, through a process called osmosis, but that's really another topic. To obtain the carbon dioxide, however, you will have to take it in through small holes on the underside of your leaves called stomata. Now you have everything you need. it up with some sunlight, and voila! Glucose. Now you have your glucose, which is small and everything, but you still need energy. This is where cellular respiration comes in. Cellular respiration is a two-step process, which converts the glucose molecules that you have here into energy. It begins by being broken down in the cytoplasm, and is then finished off by the mitochondria. There are six oxygen molecules left over after photosynthesis. When these are added to the process of the mitochondria and breaking it down, it causes a reaction releasing a large amount of energy. But I'm getting back into that brainy scientist equation stuff, probably a result of listening to complex lectures too long. But why is this so important anyways? Well, it turns out that this process happens inside you too. So let's pretend you're me again. I am a heterotroph. This means that I depend on other organisms to my food and energy. But cellular respiration happens inside me too, converting the sugars, carbs, and fats that I eat into energy I use. So I guess this makes science important, huh? What next? Don't tell me you're going to start understanding these brainy Einstein equation things. Wait, 